Joan McKenzie here, your watercolor coach, and I'm here today to talk to you about strategy, um, which means looking at what you're going to paint and deciding ahead of time how you're going to plan your attack. Um, the way I do it is first I select a picture, and here's my picture. Today I decided to paint these blueberries, and the challenge I had in my mind was how to look at this big mass of blueberries and see it as a variety of different value shapes instead of each individual blueberry. And the next thing that I do is I know I need to make some value dabs. And here are my value dabs. And I have some dark value dabs, which are blues and greens, medium value dabs, which tend to be in the reds and lighter green range, and then some lighter dabs where um, I've thinned the paint and, and I'm using a, a wash to get there. And I have a separate video about how to not use water to get there because um, using water to get to your uh, lightest values is not uh, an ans uh, the answer to, um, it's not something you should do all the time, but occasionally it, it's, it's a good strategy. So now I have my trail markers in place. I've decided what I'm going to paint and the values of what I'm going to paint and what colors are going to represent those values. And so now it's time to begin the painting. And the next question I ask myself is, do I want to paint from my lightest lights to my darkest darks or from my darkest darks to my lightest lights? Or the third choice, which is to paint all the midtones, and leaving the whites white uh, and then go in and do my darkest darks and then... Uh, attend to my whites. So there's so many different ways to go about this. Um, I am someone who is always looking for simplicity. And so today I looked at dark value shapes first and I plugged those in. Then I went to my mid values and last to my lighter shapes. And I always leave some white of the paper white because to my eye, it, it brings a freshness to a painting. Um, but that's a style uh, a decision that not everybody endorses. And here's a painting I came up with. Here are my blueberries. Now, of course, these blueberries are not blue, <laughs> but I think I picked the correct values that make it read as if they are indeed blueberries uh, that are sun-kissed, I hope. Um, and, uh, and I've used a variety of, of, of different colors to represent those different value shapes and the interlocking patterns that I see. And... Um, so and here are those value dabs, as you can see. And so that's one strategy or one way to go about painting, um, painting a painting that has um, a lot of tiny things inside it, but to somehow look at the whole, look at that big mass and break it up into smaller um, value shapes. All right, so um, that's the tip for today. Remember to keep the whites of your paper white and your paints wet. Um, look for me at joemckenzie.com and, uh, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.